So, today I have a Birchbox video. I know it has been forever. I've been getting so many comments and tweets from people like, where are your Birchbox videos? We missed them. Did you unsubscribe from Birchbox? No, I did not unsubscribe from Birchbox. I still pay my $10 a month. I just wasn't able to film videos for the past two birch boxes so for May and June and I know I said I was going to do like a combined video for both but I just did not have the time to do it. Now, if you don't know what Birchbox is, it is a $10 a month subscription service and you get four to five deluxe high-end samples of beauty products delivered to your door every single month. And I've done a lot of videos on Birchbox in the past. So if you wanna look at my old videos, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can do a search on YouTube about Birchbox and you can look up other people's videos or you can go to their site, birchbox.com, which I will link down below, and you can read all about it there and find out what it's all about. So let's go ahead and jump into the things that I loved from last month's Birch Box. The first thing is definitely the Laura Geller bronzer. I absolutely love this, and I'm wearing it today. This is like the perfect bronzer for summer, and I love it so much. At first, I thought it was gonna be way too shimmery, but when I swatched it, I saw that it's actually not that shimmery at all. It's not completely matte, but it's not glittery or anything like that, or super sparkly. It's just really natural, and it gives your skin a nice, radiant summer glow, which I love. And then I've also been loving the Twirl Perfume from Kate Spade, and I don't know if I've ever said this on camera before, but Kate Spade is my favorite designer brand. I just think that it's a really classic, fun, kind of quirky brand, and I love that combination. And every time I go into a Kate Spade store, I always smell the perfume, but I'm never sure whether or not I should actually buy it, so I'm glad that I got a sample of it in last month's Birchbox. I got a little sample like this and it has a little spray top which is convenient and I've been able to wear this out all day long, see if I really like it, see if I like how it smells on my skin because perfumes can smell differently from one person to the next. And I actually really like this perfume. I'm going to spray it so I can try and describe it to you guys but I'm not good at describing scents so here we go. It's definitely a very fun and youthful scent. It's florally, um, but not too florally. Not like old lady florally or anything like that. Um, I just would describe it as young and fun and perfect for summer. And I'm getting a little bit of it in my mouth. It's definitely not something that I would recommend eating. It definitely smells better than it tastes. Anyways, moving on into this month's Birchbox, this is what it looks like. And as you can see, if you're familiar with Birchbox, it looks a little bit different this month. And that is because Birchbox has done a collaboration with Cynthia Rowley. And so everything in this box is something that Cynthia Rowley loves, uses on her runway shows, or she just loves personally herself. Now, I know in the past I would unwrap everything with you guys, but this month, I went ahead and just started using some of the products because I thought it would be good to give you guys little mini reviews as I talk about the products. Um, so it's not just like, here's the product, but I have no idea what it's like. So, and also I get my birch boxes a little bit later than everyone, so my birch box videos tend to go up later. So I figured, you know, I might as well just try out the product so I can tell you guys a little bit about them. So here is what everything looks like, and I did unwrap it so this doesn't look as nice as it originally did, but here is the card, and on the front there's just a little letter from the Birchbox team, and then on the back there's a rundown of all of the products as well as the full size prices. And every month there's a different theme, so they kind of just explain the theme a little bit, and this month it's the collaboration with Cynthia Rowley. So, this is everything in this month's Birch Box. It is amazing. I tweeted, ah! Okay, so I obviously need to be a little bit more careful, but as I was saying, I tweeted when I got this month's Birch Box and I said that I was going to die of happiness and I think you guys can see why. It's pretty amazing this month. So I'm just going to go over everything. The first thing here that fell out and went flying is the Redken Shine Flash 2? Yeah, Shine Flash number 2. So on the card it says, 
A must for Cynthia's runway shows, this weightless spray gives hair a brilliant sheen. And I actually use this today, and I like it, but um, I can't use too much, otherwise it'll make my hair greasy. And I'm not crazy about the smell. It's a little stinky, but it does leave your hair really, really shiny, which I like. And when I smell my hair, it doesn't smell like the spray. So it's just initially when you spray it, it's not like the greatest smell ever. But overall, as a shine spray, it's really, really awesome. And this is a pretty big bottle too. And then I have this, I'm not sure if it's Coors or Carez. I've heard people say it both ways, so I'm not sure, but Carez, Coors, whichever one it is. This is the Guava Little Shower Gel. And, ooh, excuse me, I just burped. That was not very ladylike at all. Anyways, this is the Guava Shower Gel. And it says, a deliciously foamy body wash with aloe to keep skin soft long after you've toweled off and an exotically lush fragrance. Now, I would have to say this is probably my favorite product um, in the Birchbox this month. It is amazing. I love guava and I love the smell of this body wash. So I'm trying to conserve it as much as possible. Um, I've been using it in the shower for the past couple days and it is seriously amazing. So I think this is going to become my new body wash because I've actually been on the market for a new body wash. I have been using my Sultana of Soap from Lush, but I've really been wanting a new body wash and I think this may be it. So I absolutely love this. It smells amazing. If you love fruity scents, you will love that. The next thing is this pure... Um, mineral powder. It says shea butter and vitamin E give this mineral powder an extra velvety finish that looks fresh, not, not foundation-y. And I have to say I'm not the hugest fan of this powder because um, I'm pretty set with my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder and it doesn't really match my skin perfectly, but it is like a good blotting powder. That's what I would use it for but I wouldn't use it to like set my makeup but I would definitely use it if my skin was looking a little bit shiny or something like that so maybe just like a little bit right here across my forehead just like that oh and it came with a cute little brush too but I definitely would not use this as a setting powder for my makeup because I like my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder but I have been keeping this in my bag to use for blotting because I do like it for blotting. Now the next thing is Philosophy's Purity Made Simple Face Wash and I am so happy to see this in this month's Birchbox because I use this religiously and if I hadn't been using this previously this would be my favorite thing in the Birchbox because this face wash is seriously amazing. I use it with my Clarisonic after I use my matte cleanse off oil and it just gets rid of any makeup or any impurities on your face. It's a super gentle cleanser and I love it. It has done amazing, amazing things for my skin. And so now I have a little travel size bottle. So whenever I travel, I'll probably just squeeze a little bit of it into this and I'll be able to travel with it. Cause it is a pain to carry around like a huge bottle of this stuff cause I have the big bottle. But if you guys are looking for a good gentle cleanser, this is amazing and it works for all skin types. And then last but not least, I have this Kind Fruit and Nut Almond and Apricot Bar, which I haven't eaten because I wanted to show you guys what it looked like before I ate it, but I'm gonna eat it on camera because you guys know I love food. So I'm just gonna read what it says on the card here. This is just like a little birch box treat. It says, snack right with this wholesome bar. No preservatives or hard to pronounce ingredients. Yay! So, I am going to open this up and taste it for you guys. We'll see how this tastes. I am a fan of nuts. I love like Trek, mis Trek, misses, Trek mixes and trail mixes from Trader Joe's. Those are like my favorite. So, I have a feeling I'm going to like this. And I do. It's very good. But if you don't like nuts, you're definitely not going to like this. I apologize for speaking with food in my mouth. Okay, so I've actually been meaning to show you guys this for a while now, but I keep forgetting to put it in at the end of my videos. I tweeted a picture of me and Luke when we found the magazine, but I am in this month's issue of Seventeen Magazine, and I'm just 
putting my hand over my address here because I'm subscribed so my address shows up on the magazine but I wanted to um, find the magazine before I actually got it in the mail because I get my mail later than everybody else for some reason so um, me, Luke, Joey, and Brittany on the 4th of July all went out and searched high and low for this magazine and we found it and um, I was in New York in April for IMATS and during that week that's when I did this shoot for Seventeen. This is my third time in Seventeen magazine but a lot of people don't know that. Um, a lot of people were um, surprised to see that I was a Beauty Smarty but I have been in the Beauty Smarty program since last year and it's been an amazing experience for me. Um, I'll show you guys the pictures briefly. So. I first show up here on the table of contents, yay, and then going to the article. Okay, so here is the front page of the article, and here are all of the girls. So Michelle, Bianca, Dana, me, Bethany, Blair, and Megan. And then turn the page, and on the first page, look who it is. She looks kind of familiar, doesn't she? So this is the look that I did. It's the beach goddess look. And these um, looks are supposed to reflect our personal style. So um, my personal style is pretty beachy because I'm from Southern California. It's pretty laid back and girly. And my style inspiration, I chose Lauren Conrad. She's definitely somebody that I look up to as far as style goes. I just love her style. She like epitomizes the Southern California girl, and I love that look. If you guys haven't um, picked up this issue already, I highly recommend going out and picking it up because everybody has an amazing part in the little Beauty Smarty special. So there are some great looks in there, and I'm really happy with how mine turned out. And yeah, I'm just really excited about it. It just I will never get used to opening up a magazine and seeing my face there. It is just the most surreal thing ever and I'm so thankful for this experience and I really have you guys to thank for it because I would not have these kind of opportunities without you guys. So I just want to give you guys a big hug through the internet camera thing. And before I say goodbye to you guys, I just want to link my last video right here. It is my updated hair care routine. So if you want to see how I maintain long, healthy hair, you can just go ahead and click on that link and it'll take you straight to that video. So I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!